dangerous with its three layers, your endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium. Here's the body of the uterus, fundus of the uterus, cervix, fornix, vagina, here's your bladder, urethra, the torus, labia minora, labia majora. We have our ureter coming down from the kidney and into the bladder. Here we have a fallopian tube, an ovary, and here's the fimbriate on the fallopian tube, the infundibula, the ampulla, and isthmus. Okay. That wasn't me. So on the bigger model here. Here once again. Here we have our uterus, perimetrium, myometrium, endometrium, the uterine cavity. This is the body, fundus. Is the uterine tube, which you can break down into the fimbriae, fingers, the infundibulum, ampulla, isthmus, ovary, cervix, fornix, vagina. All right, the different follicles that we have. Uh, let's see, A, we're going to call primary follicles, secondary follicles. These are tertiary follicles, which are also called graphene follicles. This is a secondary oocyte. So when your graphene follicle ejects, and here's where ovulation would occur, day 14 of your cycle, the graphene follicle would eject a secondary oocyte. This would be your corpus hemorrhagicum, corpus luteum, corpus albicans. Got it. All right. Next. Okay, here's your bladder, prostate gland, okay. prostatic urethra, ejaculatory duct, it'll be your spongy urethra, corpus cavernosum, this is corpus spongiosum, here's the bulb of the penis. Bulbal urethral gland, urogenital diaphragm, <laughs> glands, here's the testes, the cream master muscle, the brown that's going around, scrotum, here would be the Ureter. This would be the vas deferens or ductus deferens. So, looking at the model here, as 
once again, here's the testes, epididymis, ductus deferens, seminal gland, prostate gland. Okay. Bladder, prostate, urogenital diaphragm, bulbal urethral gland, bulb of the penis, corpus spongiosum, corpus cavernosum, uh, glands, external urethral orifice, and then cross-section of the testes you have to get from the picture in the book.